Hello everyone. I hope you are enjoying our video tutorials on Java programming language. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about control statements. Control statements in Java essentially control the flow of execution. By this what I mean is depending upon a condition to be true or false, we might change our flow of execution. In Java programming language, there are multiple control flow statements and they are bucketed into selection or looping or branching. In selection bucket, we have if then, if then else and switch statements, which will be focused in this tutorial. In looping, we will also learn about while, do while and for loops. There are other versions of loops also in latest versions of Java programming language, but we are going to focus on while, do while and for loop in this course. Then we also have break and continue as two constructs in Java programming language that allow us to break or continue or branch from the regular course of action. Now let's focus on if condition. Now if condition is something that allows you to detect the validity or, or truthfulness of a condition and depending upon it, it allows you to execute either of the course of the action. either the statement set 1a 2a executes or statement set 1b 2b executes. Now to put it in simple manner, the if statement is essentially telling a program to execute a certain section of code only if a particular condition evaluates to true. Right? Now what I am showing you on the slide is general, most general syntax of if statement. Right? Note that the opening and closing braces that you are seeing here are optional when, they, when there is single statement, right? And the second thing is the else part is completely optional. Now let's see this in action. So we will create a new project. Let's name it JT008 and let's create a new package com.training.java. Now com.training.java already exists. So, so what we are going to do is we will try to reuse this and create our if demo here. Now, now let's start uh, taking input from user so that we are also uh, revising what we had studied in our previous tutorials. So here I am asking scanner to input or to consume the next token as an integer into variable x. Now I am using if condition here. If x equal to 5 then or So let's execute this program. I, ex I enter a number, let's say 6. It says that x is not 5. And if I execute it again, and if I enter 5, it becomes happy and says x is 5. Now note that if I want to print 
something more after this. then you will observe that if I enter let's say 6 it says that x is not 5 please enter 5 and if you remove these braces then also the program is a valid program but you will observe that when I enter 5 it executes system.out x is 5 but it also executed system.outprintln please enter 5. Therefore, braces are important and I would suggest you to always keep braces even if there is single statement. The reason of this output was after else Java recognized only one statement as part of if else condition. However, System.out.println please enter 5 was always executed. I hope this is clear. Now let's understand that there are other variants of if also. If is a general construct where you can nest if within each other. Now there are multiple ways to nest if within each other. For example, uh, let me use uh, multiple comments here and let's say under let's understand different forms so first form is you can have a if condition and then you can have a nested if here right and here you can have else now this is first form of if statement where in a single if you ha you have a nested if else condition now there is also another form which is form 2 where you have a condition if you have its else part and then you also have if else condition only in the first part and not in the second part right similarly you can have if else condition only in else part but not in if part and you can have in both so this is what is shown here that you can have nested if statements right and if you have more than one statement here then you need to use basis a single if else statement can be considered as single statement for outer if now one of the example could be you are calculating the uh, grade where if numbers are greater than 200 or if score is less than 400 that means if it lies between 200 and 400 and if it is greater than 300 then the grade is 1 or else grade is 2 and so on. You can also have multiple levels of nesting. You can have conditional, conditional if 1 followed by conditional if 2 and so on. For example if number is greater than 0 and if number is less than 20 and if it is divisible by 2 then you can say that a number is between 0 and 20 and is even. So in this tutorial we learnt about control statements. What are control statements uh, in terms of selection statements, iteration statements and branching. We understood what is if else condition, its syntax and we also created a sample program where we took an input from the user and we found out whether that number was 5 or not. I would suggest you to create a program which takes two numbers from the user number 1 and number 2 and then it prints the larger of two of them. Here you will use the if condition to find out if number is number 1 is greater than number 2 then print your first number was greater or your second number was greater. I hope you enjoyed our video. Stay tuned.